Hello, hello, welcome back to a daily vlog. about to throw the bed sheets into the laundry. I try to do it once a week. Today is a very busy day, but I haven't vlogged in a long time, so I'm gonna try to remember to pick up the vlogging camera. Sorry, I'm gonna be a little loud right now because both the washer and dryer are starting. Um, like I said, it's gonna be a busy day, but I'm gonna try to remember to pick up the vlogging camera to keep you updated. Today, basically, I have to shoot something for Old Navy. It's a jean campaign, which I'm super excited about because I know a lot of you often ask for like more affordable jean brands and jean pieces, and so they actually have some really, really cool um, styles that look really, nice on so I'm really excited about that um, then I had to edit and send it off today and then I was gonna film an H&M haul but I don't think it's gonna happen so maybe tomorrow plus I have a bunch of other packages that I want to show you a lot of you were asking about my Nike tennis shoes and the blazers when I showed you on Instagram story so I'm gonna show you that up close and then I want to build this Ikea drawer that I got because I'm seriously running out of room and then I do eventually need to do a like closet clean out so I will probably do that in a full separate video because I'm just feeling overwhelmed with all the stuff in my clothes right now but as of right now I think I'm gonna put you up here does that work and I'm going to make some breakfast I really hope you guys can hear me because it sounds really loud in the background I just spent the morning on the computer because I had to get the Farfetch video up live, which is live now. So if you guys want to check it out, it is essentially, does this even focus on me? So the Farfetch video is only partially sponsored. So it features basically all of my fall investment pieces. So I'm talking to you about like why I feel like it's worth spending the money on these certain pieces and hope you guys like it. Of course, not saying that you have to do that. This is just my opinion on what pieces I feel like are worth it if you are in the market for something like that. And then I'm gonna make coffee. What do I have for breakfast? I wanna make some eggs because I have some green onion kimchi, which I'm not sure if it's giving me eczema, but it's so good. I kind of want to have more. And then I have a bunch of little yogurt things I have to finish because they're on sale. So I got like three for $10 and there's like four of them, like these ones, like these little guys. I always get these little guys because I tend to like not finish my um, yogurt in time. Like, so they it always goes to waste. If I do little ones, then I'm not like opening a big um, carton and then like it just goes to waste. But these ones are expiring soon, so I need to get on it. And I have a Majita mushroom pizza to eat for lunch because I couldn't finish that yesterday when I was shooting my LCBO campaign, which I think you'll see after this vlog goes live. What else do I have to catch you guys up on? Oh, I have new earrings from St. Eloy. Oh. These are new like chubby gold hoops from St. Eloy. They're like vintage, but not super vintage. They're from like the early 2000s. They're from an estate sale apparently, but still like they're exactly what I wanted. They're 14K gold and not as pricey as if I were to get them new and also better for the environment because I'm reusing something that someone else wore back in the day. Okay, let's make coffee on this one. to address a comment I got on my latest YouTube video basically saying that why would I name a video like worth the investment if I was gifted the pieces so first of all I wasn't gifted all the pieces in the video um, four pieces were gifted to me so like I talked about 11 pieces and the most expensive pieces I purchased myself and in terms of worth the investment that means I think that the price point that they're at is worth like investing in and also like 
when I'm gifted pieces, it doesn't mean that like they are just sending me random stuff. I spend a lot of my day researching online about different products that are out there right now, like on all the different sites. And I'm researching to see how they'll fit, how they'll wear, like the quality of them, the price point for what you're getting. Like that's part of my job. And I'm not just loosey goosey <laughs> choosing things to talk about. And so even if you see gifted, it's not that like, I'm just like, oh yeah, they're gonna like give me something free and I'm gonna talk about it. No, there's a lot of emails, like I've said in previous videos, where I I will say no I am not interested in this product because I don't think that I'll use it and therefore won't talk to you guys about it so but yeah just wanted to clear that one up in case any of you are new here and don't necessarily know how um, my job works I do a mixture of sponsored and organic content and I think that it can be confusing for people and that's why I thought I'd jump on here during this vlog and talk about it a little bit more. Okay, I just shot the Old Navy denim campaign and I just heated up the mushroom pizza. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like because it's smelling delicious. This is the mushroom pizza with the gluten-free crust, which is kind of why it looks a little bit thinner than normal. Do you guys like mushrooms? My husband hates mushrooms, so I have to eat this before he gets home. Forgot to check my laundry to see if it actually dried after the dry cycle. I feel like it's good. Sometimes I like look at the preview screen and I realize I like scally, like that's my resting face and I'm at the computer. No wonder people get wrinkles. <laughs> All right, since I have these on, I'm gonna show you now. These are the Old Navy Extra High Rise Sky High Straight Jeans. I am like quite obsessed with them and I feel like you guys will be too because the price point's also really amazing and it comes in like a bajillion sizes. It's like their most inclusive sizing launch ever. I'm wearing true to size. So I'd say like, if you want them to fit like me, then do true to size. But I think these would be really cute if they were sized up as well. Like, you know, like baggier and almost like my a gold e 90s style jeans so they have a button fly which you know i love the butt pocket is plain as well which i feel like sometimes with um budget friendly denim options they tend to have like weird designs on it so this sweater is actually also from old navy i just tied it back so that i could show you the jeans better but i got it in a size large like look how comfy it is and it's like a really thin like cottony material so it's like perfect for layering and I think it's gonna age really comfy. So yeah, new pair of jeans that are like super affordable. So hopefully you guys have a chance to check it out because if you're not like totally into the water leg trend yet, maybe this will be a good chance for you guys to try it out. Okay, I'm having a hard time getting out of my head about some like comments. And so I'm going to try to build ikea furniture to distract myself and then i'm going to go back on the computer and finish my work so yeah sometimes even though i know some comments are meant for like to be like troll comments they still get me and i'm i'm having a hard time not thinking about it right now so let's build some furniture so this is essentially like a four yeah a four drawer thing with like the ne like netted metal, it's like these drawers. I just wanted something like relatively cheap and it would kind of still go with like the white metal part of my closet to put some like, you know, now that I'm wearing more athleisure, I don't really have like a section up for folding stuff. A lot of my stuff is like hanging. So it's called the Joan and Axel. Okay, got a hammer and Try this again. Where it is right now just next to my desk i think that 
it really matches the rest of my closet so we'll see what I will put in there because there is no shortage that's for sure <laughs> I ruined the wall. Travis is gonna kill me. I need to mud it and then repaint it, I guess. I thought it was gonna be totally fine, but I guess plaster is different. So yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I don't know, I don't know how to hang the painting. Cowlick under my hair like all the time now, even though like look how long my ponytail is getting. But these hairs on the bottom don't seem to be growing, but I have these clips now that I keep losing so I'm like going through them so quickly just these little clippers to keep them up hopefully but the other side anyways it's Friday clearly the daily vlog didn't work so we're gonna make it a bi daily vlog um, I'm gonna show you the new pieces in a bit I just want to edit a video um, for Instagram that I've been meaning to do for a while I'm also very pissed at myself for ruining the wall as you saw like two seconds ago and all that but maybe that means I can paint the wall something fun okay anyways I'm gonna edit the video and then I'll be back I'm gonna try to have my hair down for a bit because I've been putting it up ever since it's been kind of long enough I'm gonna show you my Nike order the most recent Nike order I made another one I think yesterday because there was a new style of sneakers that I've been like eyeing and was hoping that they would make one in my size and I think it should be small enough. They're a men's style so I got like the small size which is a six or six and a half which is like a seven and a half women's which is my normal Nike size so I'm hoping they fit because they're really cute. These are my tennis shoes. They are a like bright red orange, maybe even pink depending on what you consider pink. It's kind of clear translucent here because if I wear my neon sock you can kind of see my neon socks here very like thick padding and like tongue here so that's why a lot of people in the reviews did say to size up I didn't size up I sized true to size because I made that mistake before I sized up and they were way too big I do have narrow feet though keep in mind so the length is fine for me I think that what a lot of people probably have issues with is because there's like such good padding around that your foot might feel tighter than usual so if you size up it's more comfortable so it depends if you have more narrow feet I think true to size is fine and then if you have normal or wider feet then definitely size up I really like the soles I think they're my favorite part and because I have a like orangey pink grip on my racket they match perfectly I actually am about to order a new version which will definitely match the soles because they're like an even like brighter orange grip and then these guys these are the 77 Nike Blazers. So I got them in the black Nike logo. They have them in like a bright blue. You can even customize them. I really wanted to go as classic as possible because I do have two other pairs of blazers that I got from like a Nike outlet store. Um, like a little dusty pink suede one and like a navy suede one. But I just like didn't wear them as often because the color just like wasn't for me. So I'm really excited to style these. I know a lot of you on Instagram at least had asked me like like to style them so that you guys can make a decision if you want to buy them for yourself so I will be doing that soon so just super classic shoes that will probably not go out of style which is another thing obviously that I am trying to share with you all is like if you're gonna make purchases like try to think about the longevity of them I am by far not a minimalist in any way but I am conscious about what I buy and how long I'm gonna use them for so I am going to show you my free people haul. Can't decide if I want my hair up or not. So the first one up is a three piece set. I forget what it's called, but it's kind of a linen-y cotton set. Let's see. 77% cotton, 23% nylon. That kind of makes me think maybe I won't keep this because this one's 100% cotton and I know it's like going to age well. Nylon doesn't necessarily age the best, but it's 77% cotton. So I'm going to put it on and see what I think. These are the pants. I got them in an extra small because these are like full length pants. Unlike the ones I'm wearing now, they're cropped. So I didn't want these ones to be too big. So I went with the size of the pant that I feel like would have fit me best. Um, and these ones are cropped. I actually put these in the dryer recently, just the pants, not the top, um, because I felt like the pants were a little too big and they shrunk of the material and I think that they're even better now okay so those are the pants and then there's like this little cute muscle tank slash like knitwear tank like 
that I feel like it would be really versatile in the winter even with like a long sleeve turtleneck underneath, button up shirt. So I might keep it because the set is so versatile. And then there's this open knit cardigan as well. I'm kind of worried about how the extra small will fit in this, but um, yeah, essentially. I'm not gonna show you too much because I'm gonna do like a haul video on it, but I just thought I'd give you a sneak peek. And then these bike shorts, they're nude color because I don't have anything, no bike shorts that are nude. So if I wanna wear like a lighter colored skirt or dress, then I can wear that underneath it. This one is like my favorite purchase, I think. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it because it feels like a splurge for something that I might not wear all the time. It's a cashmere set. So there's like this cashmere bustier and then a matching cardigan, which is so soft. I think it look, will look so cute for photos and for styling um, different shoots, but it is like two, over $200, so. Then there are these joggers that I just wanted to get for like PJ work from home wear. They are drop crotch and they have like contrasting stitching, which I'm pretty excited about. I actually think that they will look very cute with the blazers and then um, these Nike running shorts that I actually forgot to show you. So I tend to get the shorts with spandex underneath, like spandex bike shorts essentially like woven into them because for tennis, like I tuck the tennis balls under my shorts and that's how you keep them on you when you're serving, when you're playing. So I thought that these would be a good multi-purpose pair and that's it okay so it's nearing the end of friday i'm about to clean the bathrooms which is why i put this headband on i had bought it from shoppers for um working out and cleaning bathrooms because whenever i'm like bending down my baby hairs get everywhere but now that i put it on slick my hair back with like my chubby gold hoops i kind of like the look i feel like i might wear it more often like on kind of just like a regular non-bathroom cleaning basis what do you think hopefully this vlog wasn't too boring for you all i know i'm not doing anything crazy exciting right now because i'm so busy and usually just on the computer or shooting campaigns where i like can't really talk to the camera so next week should be a little bit more fun i have a haircut finally because the ends of my hair are just messy and i want a more blunt i hopefully don't have to cut off a lot of the length because i like the length right now and then hopefully i can bring you along with that i have a hbc event at Eam Center to check out their new like next and fall campaign and then also oh I have like a photo shoot at a um, condo so I'm pretty excited hopefully I can bring you along but things are kind of starting to close down again in Toronto they're kind of because the numbers of COVID have increased they are minimizing like gatherings again so I don't really know how that's going to be affecting any of my upcoming meetings and appointments so stay tuned if you like the video like the video subscribe to my channel Follow me on Instagram. See you guys next week.